We are officially under the 24-hour mark until kickoff of the national championship and what will be an all-out brawl between Montana State and North Dakota State. The Bison are in their ninth title game in the past 14 years and have been a speed bump for the Bobcat in recent seasons. But Montana State has made it very clear the NDSU dynasty and Saturday. We've been here and we've set out to win a national championship and we've been trying to do that for three years and we've fallen short. I'll feel accomplished when we come back with the trophy, but until then it's you know, we still got a job to do. Montana State's defense will have their hands full this Saturday, taking on one of college football's top rushing offenses. Averaging nearly 274 yards on the ground, the Bison rotate through an arsenal of backs, which is led by Tameric Williams and their fullback, Hunter Lupke. Not much has changed. I mean, NDSU is NDSU. They want to run power. They want to run the football downhill big physical line and that's kind of their identity. Lukey's versatility at the fullback position has shined this postseason in a semifinal matchup against James Madison. The 6-1 junior recorded a season high 114 rushing yards while also hauling in three receptions for 89 yards and two touchdowns. You know, his ability to, to play fullback, that means he's blocking on the power play or on the perimeter, his ability to line up in the wing position and be a real threat there. You know, when they throw him back at, at tailback and give him the ball, you know, that's such a rare combination. And he's a guy that I know has our complete attention. And without an NFL caliber QB leading the Bison's offense like in years past, that position has also seen some rotating. Both Cam Miller and Quincy Patterson have been splitting snaps this season, each with a very different style of play. Cam Miller, he's got the ability to extend plays. Patterson, you know, he's a really hard to handle in the run game in particular, but more than capable in the passing game. And then you throw them both out there at the same time. And now I think you're preparing for, you know, three different things, two different guys, than the, the situation where they can be on the field at, at the same time. Montana State has already seen one Missouri Valley defense in South Dakota State, but the Bobcats know NDSU brings a different element. They're a good defense. You know, they've proven that for a very long time. You know, we've played in the last two years, like I said, and they've gotten the best of us. As the top-ranked defense in the FCS, only allowing nearly 11 points per contest, their game plan is simple, stop the run. This season, they've kept teams to about 83 yards on the ground, which for perspective is less than one-third what Montana State's offense has been averaging. We're going to need to have the best game we've had up front. But some good news for Bobcat fans. Isaiah Fonse, along with Chase Benson and Ty Okada, have been practicing this week and will play on Saturday. We've been ready to compete for a national championship and to you know accomplish the goal that hasn't been done you know 37 years. And just a reminder, Saturday's championship game is an early kickoff if you're watching from home, 10 a.m. Mountain Time on ESPN2. In Frisco, Texas, Ashley Washburn, MTN Sports.